Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Week 6 Prep Rally. I'm Rob Hernandez alongside Dennis Semrau. We come to you today from Ashley Field in Sun Prairie, site of this week's WisconsinPrepZone.com Game of the Week. We'll talk more about that one in a moment. But, uh, Dennis, looking back at Week 5, um, two teams clinch playoff berths, Janesville Parker and Verona. Verona involved in your Game of the Week. Yes, 41-20 uh, to 20 win over Middleton. Spotted Middleton seven points. And the uh, one-two punch of Dom Wise, Tyler Parker combined for five touchdowns. They've rushed for 830 yards and 11 scores the last two weeks, and the hits just keep on coming for Verona. They sure do. Around the region, a lot of games to choose from. Jefferson with a big win over East Troy in the Northern Rock Valley. Uh, Nesita with a big uh, 7 0 win over Hillsborough in the Scenic Bluffs. But I'll go to the Ridgeon Valley Conference, Dennis, where Kickapoo Lafarge, a team that did not win a conference game last year, took on Seneca, a team that had not lost a game this year. Alex Sapek with an 11-yard touchdown run, a minute 38 left on the clock, gives the Predators, love that nickname by the way, a 14-8 win over Seneca. That's Seneca's first loss of the season, my game of the week in the region. Moving ahead to our performers of the week, you got to go with Lancaster River Valley. That game ended up, Dennis, 55-44 Lancaster, oh. Trey Mesra. One of three rushers that went for more than 100 yards. He scored two touchdowns during a whopping second-half comeback as Lancaster scored the final 28 points to pull out that win at Spring Green. So Trey Mesra of Lancaster, my performer of the week. Dennis, what do you got for me? John Becker Monroe did it all, including a 75-yard punt return with 17 seconds left to go. Monroe pulls out a 27-20 win over Stoughton. Becker also had three touchdown runs, including a 96-yard run to open the fourth quarter. And after the Wanakee, DeForest, Monona Grove back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back, uh, onslaught for the Cheesemakers, finally the sun shines on Monroe, so that was a big one. As we move forward to this week, Dennis, We've got a situation here in the Big 8 Conference. Our WisconsinPrepZone.com Game of the Week, Middleton Sun Prairie, two teams battling to stay in the race across the uh, Metro over at Verona, Janesville Parker and the Wildcats in a battle for first place. How, how do you pick which game to do? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, both games are going to be outstanding from a standpoint of running backs. Adam Vestervelt, a two-time all-conference player for Janesville Parker, finally people up here get to see what, he, what he's made of. And uh, again, we talked earlier about Verona's one-two punch. That's going to be a running clock kind of game. I don't think the ball is going to be in the air very much. Uh, for this game, uh, Middleton and, and Sun Prairie, this is one that in the past, Sun Prairie seems to have had a little bit of an edge. Middleton comes in, though, after a loss, and you don't want to play the Cardinals of Middleton after a loss. Definitely. Similar situation out in the region this week. Let's go to the Swall Conference, where last week, Iowa Grant scored a big win over Mineral Point after having dropped a two-point game to Darlington the week before. Dennis, what that game does is it puts Iowa Grant back in the conversation for a conference title. The Panthers go to Cuba City, which is uh, still an unbeaten team in that conference, and they've only allowed two touchdowns, both in, late in the fourth quarter against the second-string defense. And uh, so Iowa Grant, Cuba City, one first place team in the Swall. Darlington goes to Mineral Point. Mineral Point, much like Middleton coming off a loss to Iowa Grant, could upset the apple cart there. Cuba City and Darlington are supposed to meet for, in theory, the conference title next week, but a lot of work to do before that game. A lot of work, and we're in week six. Uh, we're talking playoffs and teams clinching already. That's right. And uh, we don't have to worry about those three games in 10 days at the end of the season either this year. Nope, and we've got a lot to worry about this Friday night. Big ball games all over the area, starting with our WisconsinPrepZone.com game of the week right here at Ashley Field. Middleton Sun Prairie, the Battle of the Cardinals. We'll have updates from Janesville Parker and Verona, updates from Monona Grove and Fort Atkinson, and Lakeside Lutheran Lodi, big game in the Northern Capital Conference, all on WisconsinPrepZone.com. For Dennis Semrow, I'm Rob Hernandez. We'll see you at the stadium.